let's just get out of here without being noticed and get to white run and uh, do that special job. We actually made pretty good time and got to white run before 9 a.m. So I've decided to check out some of the locations on other tasks that I have before I begin the main thing I'm here to do, which is to meet an important client inside Whiterun. But one of the tasks we have is in this manor here. Chilforo Farm discovered. At least I think it's here. Okay, we have a farmer. It is right next to me. Yes, Wintersand Manor. I'm guessing that is Wintersand Manor. Close the gate behind you. Um, right. Probably locked. Yes. We got a farmer there. And we do have a guard wandering around this area. It's a very small manor, isn't it? Honestly, I don't think we'll be coming here during the day. No. Right, so we've got one entrance and a guard patrolling this area. I did say close the gate. Good grief. Were you born in a barn? Don't answer that. So, yeah, so one guard patrolling the area and one entrance. We need to plant something in there. The other task I have, beyond the special one, is actually inside Whiterun proper also. So let's go and check that one out after we pick some flowers on the way. Right, we're looking for somebody called Athis. He has some earrings that I need to take from him. We're also looking for the Battleborn Elder. I can't remember his name. Ulfred. Ulfred? Janessa. Yes, Ulfred. He's the man wandering around being all arrogant, isn't he? I remember, I remember listening to him. He sounds vaguely objectionable. Okay. Word around town is Athis can be found in Jorvaska, which apparently is the home of the companions. So let's introduce ourselves and uh those two at it again. I knew it. Come on now. Watch okay. the footwork. Okay. Let me give you some room. Excuse me, my friend. Oh. Okay. So we're not gonna get attacked. Attacked, are we? No? Okay. Oh. Okay. Alright. We found the person we need to enjoy killing you. Okay, if she kills him and we just take the item, does, does that count as fishing? I'm guessing we're going to have to come back later and basically loot the winner, I guess. Um, right, okay, so that's him marked. And let's go and find the Battleborn gentleman. The Battleborn residence was somewhere around here. Okay. House Greymane. No! No! Oh, we were supposed to meet the, um, the mother of the Greymanes. Amran's house? No, that is not it. Come on, we're looking for the Battleborns. I would expect something slightly impressive. House of Clan Battleborn! Hello, I really feel like I should not. Ulfred Battleborn. 
Um. Nice stuff you have. Uh, anyway, uh, oh, probably seeing as he knows why I'm here, I shouldn't speak like that. Um, hello. Wolfred, patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. Okay, what was that argument all about? Oh, yeah, you were arguing with the woman in the market when I first arrived. And she wants me to act. Yeah, she wants me to talk to her. But what was that argument Just about? Just one more thing the Grey Manes want to blame on others. It's not my fault they turned their backs on the Empire or their mule of a son raised arms against it. Okay. And yet, they want to heap the fault on my family's good name? Ha! Ah. Okay, then. Tell me about your clan. Battleborn is a name out of legend. Sung in the songs of old and heard in deeds of valor for a hundred generations. For Clan Battleborn, they cry in the mead halls. First into the fray, and last to quit their ale. We've okay. got honor, wealth, and titles too. Aye, and buxom women to warm your bed on a cold Skyrim night. Now if that don't answer your question, then no words will. No, oddly enough, that answers it really, really well. You're rich, powerful, and can get whatever you like. Mm, I like that. Uh, why the feud with the Clan Greymane? Money, you laggard. What else? Okay, it be always nice. It comes down to coin. The Greymanes have deep roots in Whiterun, but so do we. Difference is, we're rich. <laughs> and Vignar hates it. Oh, and they hate it too. All their big talk of pride and honor. What have they got to show for it? Beggars' rags and stale bread. We've got the same pride, the same honor, and we've got wealth. No wonder they envy us. Yep, yeah, nope, he's definitely got a point. What about Clan Greymane? I've, haven't I just asked that? Uncivilized pelt-wearing axe-draggers. It's a wonder they don't still live in a cave like those ancestors they keep boasting about. It's true, Vignar Greymane and his lot are one of Whiterun's oldest and, depending on who you ask, most respected clans. I don't dispute that. But it's one thing to take pride in your lineage and another to cling blindly to the past. What they call honor and tradition, I call ignorance. Hmm. I call it a weakness, but, uh, you know, we're splitting hairs, really, aren't we? Okay, uh, Delvin Mallory sent me. You're here, and not a moment too soon. If anything should happen to Arn, there'll be hell to pay. Who is Arn? A close friend of mine. We fought together on the battlefield for many years until old age got the better of us. Okay. Now it's up to me to save him one more time. This time, from the Executioner's Block in Solitude. Uh, Solitude? Then why am I here in Whiterun? Seriously, dude. You're not going to send me to Sol- I've just come from Solitude. They're just not that keen on me there. The City Guard in Solitude is seeking Arn for a serious crime. When he fled here, he was arrested for drunken behavior. Can you imagine? Fortunately, his identity isn't known to the authorities in Whiterun, so there's still a chance to save him. Okay, just wait, whoa. So wait a minute, he's in a prison in Whiterun, but they don't know who they've got, but as soon as they figure it out, they'll tell the people in solitude and they'll want to chop off his head. Okay. Hold a moment. This is more than a simple prison break. I want to have Arn's name stricken from the record books permanently. I'm setting him up with a new identity. It's the only way to throw the guard permanently off his trail. Oh. Okay, so what's the job? The job is twofold. First, steal a letter that was sent from Solitude warning White Run's guard to be on the lookout for Arn. The second is to change Arn's name in the prison registry to his new identity. Okay, sounds easy. No, it doesn't. You want me to steal a letter 
that warns of uh, this person they're looking for, probably describes him as well, and then changes name just to be totally sure nobody passes the message on to Solitude. Sounds doable. If it was easy, I would have hired a local thug instead of a professional. You see, both well, at least of these he recognizes items are kept the inside fact that I am. Dragon's Reach. And they don't allow visitors inside the Jarls or the steward's chambers. One more thing. If you get caught, I can't afford to be connected to you. Remember that before you do anything stupid. I don't do stupid things, he says with lots of conviction. Um, any information on the prison registry? It's a well-known fact that the steward keeps all of the records on White Run's prisoners in a large book. Large book? My sources tell me you can find that book in a study in his quarters. Study. Change Arn's entry in the book to anything you want, and they'll be forced to let him go after he serves a few weeks. And the letter? I have eyes within Dragon's Reach. They tell me that all correspondence from other holes are sent to the Jarl's private chambers. Okay, so break into the Jarl's private chambers, steal the letter. Break into the steward's study. Watch yourself. Out alter there. the book. I I can do that. That's no problem. Piece of cake, probably, maybe. I mean, they don't really seem to be too alert in the castle, do they? Maybe I should um, poke around a little. At least get the lay of the land. What do you think? I I, I could wait for nightfall, but it's honestly, shame, strangers wandering around at night probably slightly more suspicious. Okay. I feel like a reverse superhero here. I'm changing into my ordinary clothes. Um, merchant's boots and... Okay... Yes, now I look the part. Let's just wander around. You can be my guard. We're just going to wander around Dragon's Reach and pretend we're not the person that they shame. spoke to earlier. I can't remember what I was wearing last time. Probably something awful. And I have found that people generally remember outfits more than they remember people. It's an odd failing that I absolutely adore in people. Yes, it is. So, we're just a rich trader stroke noble visiting the palace to hoi polloi with the various people. Now, this was the, um, the mage. Let's avoid man. talking to those guys. We don't want yes, to be remembered. Too. No, we don't. Um, while I'm here, actually, I do have some components I can use to create some more poisons and some potions. This is some kind of stress relief thing for you, isn't it? Uh, no, this is some sort of useful thing for me. Although it, it sits marginally... Stress relieving, I guess. Okay, yes. Let's remember this area. It would seem to be one I uh, want to visit. Yes, indeed. Okay. What do we have down here? We have <clears throat> living quarters. Dragon's Reach Yarl Quarters. I am a little thirsty. I will uh, fix that. Okay, so the Yarl's Quarters can be accessed here. I... Okay. You know what? Let's just wander around and play the stupid noble who's wandered somewhere he shouldn't have wandered. I mean, okay, this does not... Okay, I 
I might want to actually do a thorough... Right, this is definitely not the Jarl's bedroom, is it? No, this is probably doors to his private property. Okay, I'm hearing a guard. I'm hearing a... Wait. I think this is actually the... Stop rolling. Stop rolling. I think this is actually the study in question. Be very quiet. Because I'm thinking this room is one I want to actually explore in some more depth. If those doors open, stand up quickly and look stupid and lost, okay? Stupid and lost. We can do that look, right? Pretty sure you've got that look down pat. I mean, you also look dangerous and cool. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, occasionally a little lost. Okay, gold medallion. Right. So. Okay. Stupid and lost, remember? Stupid and lost. Hello? I'm stupid and lost. Oh. Yeah, probably coming back here at night. I'm just looking. This is such an amazing collection the Jarl has. I'm, uh, I'm so very, very impressed. What's up here? Um, is he about to tell me go away? Apparently not. Apparently he's okay with me wandering around. Hi. Stupid and lost, remember? Stupid and lost. Okay, this looks like servant quarters. We might not need to come back later. This is... Is he not going to freak out that I'm in here? Okay, Inigo is about to walk in here and give me a small heart attack. Yes, he is. Maybe I should get further in. I can't believe the guard isn't... Maybe he thinks I belong here. Maybe he thinks, you know what? He looked the part. Close the door behind you. Come in. Close the door behind you, you idiot. I said act stupid and lost. Oh, God, no. Nope. I said act stupid and lost, not be stupid and lost. You know what? I have got so much stolen silverware at this point that I don't... Okay, I don't know what to do with it. I really don't. I, I'm, I'm actually completely and utterly overloaded with stuff that I cannot sell. I mean... That's a, that's a terrible burden to bear and everything, but uh, it, in some ways, it actually is. Uncommon taste. Oh, no, I did the gourmet. I might want to read that. Yes, I might. The gourmet. For some reason, that sounds, I don't know, important. Right. I don't think this room is particularly... Um, uh, I don't know what the word is. That's downstairs. Yeah, I don't think this room is... Hello. Wait. Alduin is real. Yes, I've met him. Uh, apparently I haven't met this book before. There we go. Okay. Right. And... Stupid and lost. Stupid and lost. This. Really? They just don't mind me wandering around? Is this not the Jarl's personal quarters? They must just see an awful lot of st stupid and lost noble looking people. 
Okay, dude. To current Stuart of Whiterun, let it be known we're seeking the criminal named Arn for the crime of murder in solitude. If you should locate him, detain him and contact me by courier as soon as possible. Okay, that was remarkably simple. I was expecting to come back later on. Before the ages of man. Okay. Illusion increased. All right. Okay. I know. I know. Carrying too many of those anyway, but hey. Hey, why do you the yard's justice? By the order of the yard. Oh! Stop right there. Okay. Um. Yes. No, look, seriously, I'm stupid. Enough. How about I give you 150 gold and you look the other way? Everything here appears to be in order. Okay, thank you. You can move along. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Stupid and lost. There's a coin pouch there. Would I be pushing my luck? Let's come back later. Let's come back later. Correctly attired. And, um... See what we can do. Although I sus I suspect if I come back at night, this area will... Moment of opportunity. Moment of opportunity. We, oh, God. Please. Come on, come on. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Got it. All right. Let's go, 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 go. Stop rolling. Come on. All right. Okay. We've definitely got some other items of interest to, uh, to pick up. I've got an elven sword. Dude, I got an elven sword. Let's have a look at that. 16. That's nice. I wonder if our man can actually uh, improve that. It's a bit yellow though, isn't it? I mean, it's fancy and everything. Gold. Let's let's think of it as gold. Or let's not think about it at all. It would seem that Alfred has stepped out for a while, and whilst I was tempted to nip in and see what he possesses, I've noticed his house has a mark on it, and that mark says this place is protected. I'm going to assume that applies to all clan Battleborn, to be honest. I think this family is more useful to us as allies than as marks. Influence. People who can pull strings on our behalf. So, we're not taking anything from them. However, this does mean I have to wander around and try and find him. Now, I, I did see him wandering around the market. I'll tell you what, I, before we go looking for Ulfred, I'd like to check in on, was it Athis? And our uh, other puglist friend and see if they're still pugling. You think you stand a chance? Okay. Can I interrupt them? Excuse me. Oh, that is a very good idea. Um, he hello? Hello, hello. Nya, nya, da. Okay, we'll, we'll come back later. We will come back later. <sighs> dear, oh dear. Let's hope they run out of energy sometime soon. Because I'm, I'm going to guess trying to rifle through the pockets of somebody who's being thumped and is thumping somebody else is a tiny bit difficult. Alfred, Alfred, Alfred. 
I'm... I'm not actually... I'm not seeing him wander around. Okay, a little birdie has told me that he's gone off to Dragon's Reach. And I'm not particularly keen to be wandering around there, at least not until the guards have changed so people have forgotten my face. So maybe we'll wait until he comes back down. In the meantime, let's go and have a look at the manor and see if there may be a way to... Give me your money. I, I don't have any money. Give it up, kid. She's on to you. I wonder if that man has a key. He might, I guess. The guard does seem to have a fairly large patrol. I think there's a reasonably open window to go there even during the day. I mean, from this moment onwards, he's not looking at that door. farmhouse. Okay. Elven brass, that's not very valuable. Ooh. That is probably wearing. It's around his neck, isn't it? Let's not push our look. Okay. Is it... You know what? Let's not worry. Twelve... Twelve septims. Not worth it. Seeing as there's a guard over there. But this means we don't even need, wasn't it this one, Wintersand Manor? Yes, indeed. Nice. I should have knocked just in case. Oh, right. In you go. Uh-huh. Moving. No, 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 no. Not move. No. Stepping back outside, stepping back outside. In you go, little bit of a liability here. Okay, so, we've actually got access, so, so, come here. Just stand guard, stand. You want to ask me something? Oh no, that's uh, wrong, uh, no, no. Let us go. No, let's not go. Whistle if you need me, okay? That was what I was thinking. All right, where's that guard? He's not there, all right, okay. No, no, I'm just, I'm just a visiting noble. Currently dressed like a thief. Okay, yeah. Forgot. I don't exactly look the part of a noble right now. Okay then. So. Do we have anybody here? What is that? Basement maybe? Just a... C Ooh, look. Sweet roll. Right. Kolb and the Dragon. Don't think I have that. An adventure for Nord boys. Don't mind if I do. S long taffy tree. Okay, then. I'm looking... Oh, I'm looking for a place. I tell you what, before I ransack the place, let's A identify the target because what, what we're doing here is planting something plant the stolen 10 carat amethyst in winters and manor in white run i uh i need to find i'm wondering can i put it anywhere i mean i mean if i just put it in this cupboard 
for example, kettle, wooden sword, stolen. Oh my god, I got a lot of silver. This is too. Im no, don't put it here. I'll know it when I see it. Let's find that and also make sure there's no one here. Okay. Could be that, couldn't it? It's probably not. It's going to be something a bit more personal. Okay. You're feeling hungry. Well, there you go. There you go. We had a sweet roll. Got a few of them now, actually. All right. I'm going to guess this is where I should place it. Um, yes. All right. Done. Let's just... Okay, I can, I can stop moving so slowly now. It does look like we're alone here. Okay, the weather got a bit crummy, didn't it? All right, let's try not to get our shoes muddy and let's go and check for those companions. Oh, come on and uh, close the gate behind you. Probably not. Okay, just don't divert it in this direction. I don't have high hopes, but, you know, we might as well check whilst no, we're in the neighbourhood. Okay, let's go and see if Alfred is back. Good grief, it really is horrible. Yes, it is. Who's this? Yorland Greymane. I don't really need to speak to you at the moment. Okay. Hopefully. These flowers uh, seem to grow rather quickly, which is useful. Please be home. I have good news. No. Okay. Well, then, to be honest, I think what we should do, apart from stand outside picking flowers, I don't really... I've got loads of that. What I don't have loads of is this. Well, I've got a bit of this, but this is very, very useful. I say we go sit in the bar and wait for uh, night to fall, or at least evening to fall. It's already night, kind of-ish. It's almost 6.30 at night. And whilst we're in the warm bar, we can reflect upon what we have learned. Come on in. At the moment, I think alchemy really is the only option I'm interested in. The other one is pickpocket, but I don't have the required skill to get cut purse, and certainly not enough with Brotherhood Cocktail. Lock picking needs one more point before I can continue, and so it really does come down to something like sneak versus alchemy, and I must admit, the idea of having stronger poisons still does appeal. So it's either alchemy or poisoner. Poisoner is slightly better for poisons, but alchemy is just all round better. So I think I'm going to go for alchemy master at the moment. Although, let's have a look. Bottom poison applied. To this! This is really going to be nice. Yes, it is. As is that. They do require quite a lot of skill, though. So I'm, I'm quite far away from those. So I think then I'll just focus on getting Alchemy Master, Experimenter, and Poisoner. Yes, indeed. I'm going to I'm going to get all of those. So let's just start with this one. Okay. F you know what? Maybe I should go off and make some more poisons. I've already I've already sold quite a lot to the alchemist and the trader. However, 
I can get a bit of practice in, use some of my components, and perhaps make even stronger poisons now. That means there's a lot of loot here. Is that him? I think that's him. Yes, it is. Oh, uh, so, uh, we, we, we can talk inside. Yes, we can definitely talk inside. Don't, don't interrupt him. Look. Oh, there's a back way. I should have known that, shouldn't I? Yes, I should. Ooh. More poisons. Oh, grief. Okay, brilliant. What's your pet? He's not going to let me in now. What's your pet? He's not going to let... No, he's going to let me in. Excellent. Oh, we can have the conversation. Yeah, this the was as they want to back the storm close. They'll get what's coming to did, them. Did somebody say you lost? I'm not... Norland Gray oh. Mane's a stubborn fool. Uh, Our friendship ended when he turned his back on the Emperor. Yes, excellent. I have good news for you. Clan Battleborn's got a proud lineage in Whiterun. But unlike the Grey Mains, we've also got wealth. Yes, 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 yes. Money. Money is good. Influence is uh, better. But you've got both. So, yes, yeah, win-win. Love it. Everything's been done. Arn should be safe. Arn? Never heard of him. Right? Exactly. I guess that means you're finished. Here's your payment. Tell Delvin that he has my support and all the weight it carries in White Run from now on. I think he'll be quite pleased. Okay. Right. All right. Skyforged Amethyst Ring of Minor Archery. Get. Okay. Well. Thank you very much, Watch sir. Yourself out there. Uh, I shall do. Precisely that. Okay, so we've now got more influence in White Run. I need to talk to Delvin to figure out what on earth that means, but I'm going to assume it can only be good. I do, however, have one or two other things to do before I return to Delvin, including checking up on Athis again. Can't still be at it. Can he? Alright, well. You're nothing. Okay, tell what. I can't show. While we're waiting. Maybe we can just um, finish off what we started earlier around Dragon's Reach. Only, uh, oh, I have to say, I, I think you're going to be a bit of a liability, so maybe you should stay. I'm going to leave you in the inn. I'm... Here you go. In a go. In a go. I am not going to say it. I am not going to say, here kitty, kitty, kitty. Did he just stay in there? I mean, if he, if he wants to, he can. I'm, I'm not... Oh, there he is. In you go. Are you following? This time. And what does that symbol mean? That symbol means... It probably means don't rob this place or you'll get your face smashed in. Excellent. 